Hello and welcome to Gardening Australia. Now, I know I'm always saying that the world is our garden, but sometimes a little containment is not a bad thing. On the show this week, I'm visiting a Sydney apartment block where communal gardens are bringing people together. I'm on the rooftop of an apartment building in Sydney's Redfern, perched right on the edge of the city. And despite the containing and constraining surrounds of the harsh concrete jungle, a group of gardeners are growing food, flowers and connection to their community high above the city streets. This four-storey building has 91 units in all and is home to a diverse range of people. Kevin Bathman is the member of the resident committee behind all of this. What inspired all this? Well, I've been living in this building for the past four years and the uh, first initial two years I realised I didn't actually know any of my neighbours and I decided to start this gardening group. And so I got involved with the community in the building and um, a year later we were given this 70 garden beds from City of Sydney. And so what we've ended up with are garden beds on levels 2, 3 and 4 and on a rooftop. Um, and mostly they contain a variety of vegetables, um, herbs and flowers. I mean, it's really, it, it's really changed the feel of the space. It has, yeah. It's totally made it a lot more greener. We have a core group of gardeners who are passionate and engaged with the garden beds and the rest of the building is supportive of what we do and hopefully we'll get more people involved in the gardening group. So Eddie, what did you think about the opportunity to garden here in the building? Oh, it was so unexpected and just so exciting. We love the chance just to grow our own food in the city. You know, there's a lot of disconnectedness sometimes living in the city centre and it's just about learning how to reconnect with the food that you eat and uh, it's been such a surprise. It's lovely to see some greenery growing in amongst, you know, all the concrete and yeah, it's great. You know, at the end of the day, when you're really stressed and tired, it's nice to just have a nice safe space to, to sit down and reflect and also to harvest fresh food for dinner as well. well they're all there. We just keep this. Yeah. It was then so wonderful just to come here and see that you could plant things and pick your kitchen garden. Oh, I'll have some of that, and I'll have some of that, and I'll have some of that, and I'll go inside and i have this wonderful lunch or some stir-fry for dinner. I haven't bought any green vegetables for a long time. What are you doing with all the produce that you're harvesting from the gardens here? The community gardens are not just for the gardeners, but it's for everyone here, so that they can pick whatever vegetables they want whenever they need it. So what have you and the gardeners been doing up here on the rooftop? So these were original gardens in the building and we've transformed half of them into a community garden and in addition to that we've also added 10 garden beds for the residents to plant whatever they want. So we've got tomatoes, chilies, uh, leafy greens and amaranth as well. Ah, amaranth. This is one of my favourites and I mean it's just one of those plants. The more you harvest the leaves, the more it grows back and I mean look at this flower head. You've got amaranth for life with the number of seeds. Kevin, what have the gardens done for the community here in the building? The gardens have added a much nicer environment. It used to be quite a cold and hard building, but most of all, it's actually made it into a much friendly place to live in. From me as a resident, it means I've been able to meet people and make friends, proper friends, you know, not just, hello, how are you? And so that's a huge, big thing. Even the people that aren't gardening, um, they're a little bit more compassionate and there's a lot more interaction between neighbours. You know, it's like a common area where people can meet. I can't imagine living anywhere but here because it's not a concrete jungle anymore, it's a living jungle. Gardens really do bring the joy of nature right into the very heart of the city. Don't limit your thinking just because you're above the ground. This place here is proof that the opportunities are endless and I really love it. Now, growing things in pots can be productive and successful. Here's Josh with a few tips 
on how you can get the most out of your pot plants.